Moving around to the back of the house here, I've got a border of double file viburnums that's just coming into bloom. Nice backdrop for the garden. This is a woodland plant called Actea, just coming into bloom. Okay. And it's gonna have these flowers. This is a poisonous plant, but these flowers, uh, not poisonous like poison ivy, poisonous like you don't want small children eating it. But this is gonna have very small red fruits on it. So it's a perennial that not only has a beautiful flower in the spring, I think that's really lovely to look at, but it's also gonna add interest with those, uh, those red fruits. And then here we go, we've got some skimmia, and the skimmia was already in bloom. There's your new growth coming on the skimmia. And here, right in there, there's your skimmia, your skimmia uh, fruits. And look at this plant, is loaded. This is a pretty good set. I don't know if the animals are gonna eat them. I usually don't see this many fruits on my skimmia. Probably because the new growth, it flowers, it gets the fruit, and then the new growth covers them up. But that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, and then there's my, uh, my daffodils. And every year I get more and more flowers and they're absolutely loaded with weeds right now, but uh, there's my daffodil bed. And I wanna, I wanna do a separate video for you guys. I was at the garden center this spring and I, this is another one, I can't think of the name of the plant at the moment, but this is actually a holly I bought. And it's supposed to be evergreen as well. And it looks to me just like a ficus benjamina. If you're ever at the shopping mall and you see the ficus at the shopping malls, it looks just like a ficus. But if this guy can grow up and be a, doesn't have to be a pyramidal holly and just be a nice evergreen shrub, another backdrop plant, I would be more than happy. And, you know, I like to grow some more rare plants and I'll see if I can find the name of this guy and put it underneath the video too. Looks like it got a little bit of, you know, had a little bit of trouble with the winter at the nursery. But you can see the, uh, the older growth or the newer growth has that nice dark green color to it. On the other side of the walk here, I've got some Lakothui and I'm not sure, I don't think this is rainbow. This might just be plain Lakothui axillaris. Lakothui never really comes out of the winter looking great. So it usually needs a little bit of pruning and I haven't touched this one yet this year. But as, as the season comes in, it's got these flowers. Again, it's mid-May, we've got these nice white flowers. And then your Lakothui is going to have the new growth with that reddish tinge to it. Or there's a cultivar called Rainbow I'm a big fan of, which the new growth has multiple colors. And I think it just, uh, it's different, it's hardy, you know, it, it has a little bit of trouble making it through the winters, but it always survives. So if you've got a spot where you want something different that's going to look nice and just know you're going to have to do a little bit of cleaning up every year, I really like Lakothui. And then this here is uh, Styrax japonicus, uh, and that I think is pink chimes. I had some volunteers come up, and <laughs> this tree, which is about 10 feet tall, I don't even know if that's working with the sun, but this tree, which is about 10 feet tall, grew as a seedling, and I just, I planted like 10 of them, and this guy took. And eventually I would like to uh, move him somewhere else in the yard, but I've got I've got a Styrax, which is single stem, which is very difficult to do. If you see them in the nurseries, they're usually multi-stemmed. And I'm really hoping that this guy makes it and then I can move it in the fall and, and find a nice spot where it can, uh, you know, really grow nicely. And the flowers, this is the first year I've gotten a good flower on it. And yes, I think you can see right there, there's your flowers. So that's pink chime Styrax, or we'll, we'll see what color they end up. It's a, it's a volunteer. Sometimes there's some hybridizing. And I'll just take you around the back here. So here's my, my viburnums that I planted for a backdrop. And the ones to the, let's see. So this one here is a cultivar and I'm not sure which cultivar, but you see how nice that, those flowers are sitting on top of the, the plant. And then the ones to the right are just a plain double file viburnum and they're not flowering nearly as much but they're still doing a great job being a backdrop, a fairly quick growing backdrop. And again, your, your double files, your viburnums, they're all deciduous. So in the winter, we are just looking at sticks back here, but in the summer, it does a really nice job of, of being a backdrop. It's May, 
I've had some witch hazel that already flowered, I've had my daffodils that already flowered, I've got some rhodes there that already flowered, and now we're into, uh, and there's also some forsythia, and now we're into our double file viburnum. And succession of bloom is a very big factor when you're planting your garden. You don't want to have everything flower just in the spring. You want to try to extend that bloom through the season. And that, uh, I, I, maybe it's uh, Shasta, maybe, the cultivar, but uh, that, that is pretty cool. And then over here, I've got a plant uh, that came home from a job that somebody didn't want, and this is just your, your large-leaved rhodi, and it's just, uh, it's just getting its blooms. And the deer have pretty much eaten the lower part of this plant. But, um, you know, by the time the viburnum start to lose flowers, the rhodi's gonna come in. And, and then over here, this is actually a shrub called calicarpa. And calicarpa goes on another one of those plants that it, it never really comes out of the winter looking great, but in late, let's see. In late summer to early fall, this calicarpa is gonna have small purple fruits on it. And talk about adding some interest to the garden at a time when there's really not a lot going on. So again, if you, if you do a little bit of cleanup on it, which I haven't gotten to yet, calicarpa is another great choice to extend your season of bloom.